Welcome to Kellyanne Cares, a -a one-of-a-kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you personally and professionally. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm an entrepreneur, patient advocate, content creator, and author. You may know me from the Everything is Messy book, brand, and podcast, but what you may not know is how hard I had to work to get me to where I am today mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And in this season, I'm more driven and extremely passionate about my purpose to help you save the time, money, and energy it takes to be happier and get healthier with your mind, body, business, and life. Tune in every week to hear raw, unfiltered conversations from myself and my incredible guests as we discuss trending topics, share stories of resilience, and chat about all things health, wealth, healing, and wellness. Whether you're here to listen, learn, or laugh, I promise to bring awareness and add more value to your day. Take this time to relax and recharge. Listen, life is short. Invest in yourself. Be loud. Be different. Be you. And most importantly, enjoy the ride. Buckle up because today's podcast experience starts now. One more thing. Sharing is caring. I would love your thoughts on today's episode. Head on over to Apple Podcasts to rate, review, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Want to continue the conversation? Let's connect online. You can find me at kellyangorman.com and all my social links are in the show notes. Now let's get into today's show. Hello, hello. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Kellyanne Cares podcast. Today's show is going to be all about podcasting. So whether you are looking to launch, you're just starting your research, or you've been a seasoned podcaster like myself for a number of years, I'm going to share what I've been doing with my show and how you can monetize it, sharing all my tips and tricks, and I'm not just going to stop there. I'm talking about automation, syndication, marketing, repurposing, SEO, all things podcasting. So if you don't already have your favorite pen and notebook, it's time that you pause this show right now. Okay, are you back? It's time for you to take all of the notes. By the way, if you want to do a coaching call after all of this information, I would love to help you out even more. I have a complete podcast development service called Your Podcast Production. You can check out at kellyangorman.com. But this show is dedicated to all of those podcast junkies who are looking to grow your show. Let's dive in. First of all, you have to be repurposing your show. But before that, you're probably wondering if you're new or maybe you're just starting to monetize your show or want that information first. Let's start there, actually. Website, affiliate links, subscriptions, Patreon accounts, creator fund accounts, all of these things can generate revenue surrounding your show. So if you don't have programs, products, services, but you do love companies and have affiliate links, all you need to do is go to godaddy.com, spend a, like a dollar seventeen, I think it is, and get a .com, but use something like Mailchimp to create a landing page, or even just Linktree. That's super, um, like simple, and you can add your social pages, and you can add payment links. I have Cash, uh, what do I have? Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, all of that, right? So create a simple landing page for your favorite brands that you love. And you're going to start making revenue from becoming an affiliate for just sharing things like HelloFresh or certain business tools, calendar tools. I have so many you can use as a reference on the brands I love page on my website. But if you are looking for just like more examples, seriously, just go check that out. Because if you become an affiliate, then you can start sharing as well. Like What's my favorite one I use all the time? Fetch Rewards. I get free Amazon cards from that all of the time. And you don't just need to use Amazon. You can donate the money to charity. You can get shoes and clothes from all of your favorite brands online just by taking pictures of your receipts. I'm an affiliate for them. So I make money and get gift cards from all of the points that are tallied up from literally taking photos of my receipts. It's as easy as that. So if you do have programs, products, and services, you want to drive traffic to your website. So constantly say your website. Have you noticed they've said it a couple times already? I did that for a reason. Now, affiliate affiliate links, we just went over that. Everything that I'm sharing with you today, you can actually look at mine and duplicate it and make it your own. Be as creative as you can be. But I literally have a list of notes in front of me. It's that simple. Brands that I love on my website, go check those out. I've said that three times already. Make it your own, figure out what brands that you love and just start sharing them and you're going to immediately get kickbacks. Most of these companies, when you become an affiliate, are about 30-day payouts. Some new things I'm trying right now, the first month is a 90-day payout, but still, you're getting paid from put, for putting your time, money, and energy into a show, just like I'm doing right now. Now, 
Apple Podcasts and some other platforms are starting to push out subscriptions, just like on Instagram. I'm sure that you've seen your favorite influencers are having the ability to push out subscriptions. So they generate more content, create more content for you. If you're paying like $2.99 to like $5.99 a month, I think that's the highest I've seen so far over on Instagram. But we know how I feel about Instagram right now. And I also have tried a Patreon account. I've tried some other things in the past. And I already create content on YouTube and on TikTok and with the show. And I've been doing it since 2017. So I don't want to create more content. I want to just focus hard on what I'm giving to you right now, which is why I take the time to write notes, why I take the time to do research, why I take the time to pitch brands and research all of the guests that pitch me to come on the show. It's really, really important to me that I create the absolute best content for you so that you keep coming back and I can teach you more and you honestly just like love the show. So what I did a couple months ago, I believe, is I created my own creator fund. So if you're scrolling through all of my TikToks, which by the way, all of this can be found there as well as my YouTube. If you're scrolling all of my content and you're like, I can't afford a coaching call, but like, let me just like shoot you some like little payment, like 20, 25 bucks. I really appreciate that. Like, so that's something that I just started pushing out. I think it was like two months ago, maybe. And it's working and I love it. And I just like, it's like you give back to your favorite creators. I don't charge on platforms. I just love creating content. So if you're coming to the show, you're going to my YouTube channel, you're checking out all my TikTok videos, the Creator Fund is for that. It's on my payments page on my website, kellyannegorman.com, which by the way, I'm in the middle of a huge rebrand design. Hopefully that will be done this week. I have it on my planner tomorrow and Tuesday to be done. Wednesday, I have a new episode with a brand new, oh my God, I cannot wait to share this information with you, but you're going to have to stay tuned until Wednesday. Um, a brand new company I'm working with and you are going to become obsessed just like I am. So again, if you don't have a website with your own programs, products, and services, be, just share the links of your favorite products like Fetch Rewards, like all these other tools that you have in your back pocket, literally on your phone, like Uber, Lyft. See where I'm getting? Like It's so simple. Just share your code. But if you want to create like a one-stop shop, you can make it really fancy on a landing page with MailChimp or GoDaddy, you can do the same, or honestly, just use Linktree, it's free. And the things that I'm sharing with you right now have very minimal investment. Some of them are free. Linktree I've been using for years, they've really upped their game. I do not have a pro account, I have a basic account, and they've upped their game when it comes to the shareability of everything and the tracking. I, I really like it, to be honest with you, and I'm an affiliate for them as well. But go check out my link tree. The link is in my bio on my Instagram. It's literally everywhere. Um, and you'll see what I'm saying. And it's really, really easy for you to put together as well. So you'll see my PayPal. Actually, I just re- redesigned that so you won't see my PayPal. Everything, all my payment options are under payments now. So the second thing I want to share with you is you can be running commercials on your show just like I do. That is another way for you to start generating revenue for your show. And if you don't know how to put together a media kit, you want some more help on that, I do have videos over on my TikTok. If you want to set up a one-hour coaching call, again, we can do that just so that you can nail down like the exact pinpoints of what you need and how you should go about pitching brands. I can tell you one thing, you absolutely have to be on LinkedIn. And stay tuned because this week on TikTok, I'm going to be sharing how you can perfect your LinkedIn profile in just a couple of hours. I've been coaching on LinkedIn since, I don't even know, 2015, I think. I'm obsessed and I've made and landed my biggest deals of my career on that platform and that's why I'm so passionate about it and I coach people all the time on how to perfect their profile. I even have coaching programs on it but if you want more tips and tricks on LinkedIn, stay tuned. Like I just said, everything's going to be on my TikTok this week but there's already content there. Again, if you go to my website, kellyannegorman.com in the search bar, put LinkedIn, all of my LinkedIn content will show up. Or you can just text me 310-461-7051. I'll shoot you the link. That's the hotline for the show, by the way. P.S. Okay, so that's how you can monetize your show. I know it sounds like a little overwhelming. I talk fast, but you can always slow me down on the apps. Did you know that? It's a great tool. Now I want to share how you can get more visibility and eyes and ears to your show. This is my favorite thing to talk about. Automation, syndication, marketing, repurposing, SEO, you need it all. I use IFTTT, if this, then that, for my automation. 
I use repurpose.io for my repurposing. I use Blueberry Hosting for my syndication, which I'm going to be in Dubai now, which I'm so excited about. That's happening this week, probably Wednesday, Thursday. And what else? I use answerthepublic.com for anything SEO related. Whatever the topic of your show is, you'll see the topic of this episode. I put in answerthepublic.com and whatever people are searching for, I generate a title that way. Same thing with my show notes. Another thing that you have to make sure is you are using your show notes for all of the links that I just mentioned. So you're wondering where all my links are. I always say they're in the show notes. You click them. That's exactly the template that you're going to want to follow. It's super simple. It's so easy for you to do. You just copy paste links, make it as basic as you want. But in order to get more visibility, if you share audiences, you do podcast swaps, you have guests on your show, you become a guest on somebody else's show, you use an email list, I have a LinkedIn newsletter as well, I repurpose all my episodes on LinkedIn as well under articles and also the newsletters, you're sharing your show, you're constantly repurposing it and then you're automating it and repurposing even more. I have a whole entire marketing funnel that I created a couple of years ago and I'm always tweaking it to see what's working best. But right now my personal focus is TikTok, YouTube, and Pinterest because that is SEO. And the more time I take off social media, the more time I can just have fun in my life, right? So why not? And these are things that are free. And repurposing, I pay $25 for repurpose.io. I have a code for you. Check the show notes because you're going to want to check it out just for my YouTube stats alone. I think I get almost like 76,000 views lately. It's absolutely insane. And that is from repurposing my TikToks and podcasts to YouTube Shorts primarily and then over to Pinterest as well. I'm patiently waiting to get accepted into the creator fund. I thought I was and then I couldn't access it. So I'm still waiting on that. That's something really like brand new to me, but I'm like really excited because it is new. So I'll share more on that if you want. Just let me know. But If you are looking to pitch yourself to other shows, you really need to have a media kit put together. You can use Microsoft Word, turn it into a PDF, super simple. You can use Canva, I use Canva for a lot of stuff, but the Blueberry hosting, going back to that for the syndication, I think that they have the best service, they have the best platform, and you can even do a media kit through your Blueberry hosting uh, hosting platform now with them. How amazing is that? So if brands are like, okay, we want to work with you. What do your numbers look like? How many downloads are you getting? You literally export the PDF, but now you're going to have a media kit that will incorporate all of that. So that is pretty, pretty cool. And they have done a number of um, collabs with other brands and companies that they've incorporated into their hosting platform, which I've used on and off. Um, One of the tools I like that's not affiliated is affiliated is the headliner app. I have the free version. And that's, um, if you look on my Instagram reels tab, where you can see podcast episode videos. And again, going back to show notes and links and notes, that's very, very important. When it comes to all of this, the first thing you need to do is make sure you are organized and you are scheduled and you have some kind of a routine. Because if you're not, I'm telling you, this could be a little difficult. That is my first thing that I would do is get yourself a new planner, write down a schedule. I have a schedule that I work on personally. Like some days I write, some days I record, some days I produce, some days I film, some days I don't do anything. I don't talk to anyone or some days I just coach. That is how my brain works the best. But then when I start pushing out stuff on specific days, you'll start to notice. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, I always have a link to a newsletter going out. My MailChimp personal newsletter goes out on Wednesday. These shows now go out on Wednesday, but this was a special edition because I wanted to do something special for you. And a lot of people have been asking me about how you monetize your show and marketing and repurposing and all that. So that's why I wanted to do a little bonus episode for you today. But um, being scheduled and organized and routine is so, so important. And if you haven't listened to my last episode, I talk about a new routine all about self-care and a mind body business life energy like whole situation detox I've been doing it's game changing it has been for me I would love to share it with you it's something I literally just made up it's written on my wall I'm not even kidding and like yellow legal paper (laughs) so if you want to start like a little challenge together let me know it's totally free it's just to hold each other accountable like I would love to have a little buddy along I have a couple already and it's just like eating healthy, reading books. It's Think of it like as our own little version of seven, 75 hard, but like way less intense. 
Um, but yeah, so that's all I have for you today. It's super quick information. Everything is accessible. A lot of it is free, very minimal cost on certain apps. I think the highest you're going to pay for anything is repurposed as 25 bucks, but I have a code. So I think you get the first month free to be honest. Um, and you just need to do the kind of content that you love because people will know if you're pushing out shows that aren't you know, what you're feeling good about, then what's the point? That's why I just took a break. I just was burnt out. I've been doing this for so long, you know, you run out of ideas or you just need to like shut your mouth for a little bit. And then it was affecting my voice. So I'm still dealing with that. I have a voice, um, doctor now. So that's why you can, um, tell that my voice is a little different. (laughs) My little, um, graspy cigar smoking sounding voice. But those are the tips and tricks I wanted to share with you when it comes to monetizing your podcast, automating it, syndicating it, marketing it, repurposing it, and utilizing SEO search engines like TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest. But it really is, you can make it as simple and basic as you need it to be. So if you have any other questions, if you want to hop on a call, if you want to look at some of the programs I have, or just want to check out more content, Check out the show notes because all the information is listed for you there. But I just hope that this episode helped. Again, go to kellyannegorman.com, go to the search bar and put podcasting or podcast and you'll see so much more information that is available for you for absolutely zero dollars. But again, if you would like to check out the content creator fund, you can do so as well right there. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share. I'll be back this week with a brand new episode all about entrepreneurship and some more things. I was talking about on the last episode, 330, which it just feels so good to be recording again. I just want to share that with you, (laughs) but I hope this episode helped. If you have any other questions, again, you can text me on the hotline number if you want. It's 310-461-7051, and I would just love to help you out, but if you, you know what I really wish existed is if you go, because I don't have the access, um, the capability for it yet on my TikTok is if you just put a, um, like if you put podcasting tips in a little search bar on my TikTok page, like how YouTube has on my channel, you can do it there. Most of my TikToks are on YouTube. So why don't you just do that actually? But I really wish TikTok had that because it would make it a lot easier. You know, when I'm sending you somewhere for a lot more content, that's also free. So I really hope that this episode helped. If it did, you know what to do. Leave a review for me over on Apple Podcasts. I would truly appreciate it. And by you leaving a review, it helps other people see my show and then help them. So sharing is caring. I hope that you have a great week. I hope that you are setting up your planners right now and gearing up for a positive and productive week ahead. I know I am. I'm praying I'm getting to San Diego this week. But that's it. That's all I have. Have a wonderful Sunday. I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for tuning in to Kellyanne Cares, a -a one-of-a-kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you. And I hope that happened for you today. As I mentioned in the intro, I would love your feedback on today's episode. Head to Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or your favorite podcast app to leave a review for the show. I would truly appreciate it. For more information on myself, the show, my book, and the programs, products, and services I've created, visit kellyannegorman.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter, join the podcast community, and check out the brands I'm currently loving. Let's continue today's conversation. You can connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Kellyanne Gorman Official. All my other social handles will be available for you in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service you would like to share on the show, send me a message on kellyannegorman.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. I wouldn't be here without you, and I'm so grateful I get to do what I love each and every day. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon.